we spoke a lot last year about the additional questions that are being asked by reinsurers of cedents yeah. um, via their brokers, obviously. Those questions didn't go away. Um, those questions were still there. Um, and so I think that added robustness and added due diligence that people were doing last year is probably here to stay yeah. um, and will just become a standard part of the process. Um, so it's going to be really important for students to be able to respond really quickly to a wide variety of questions and a, a deeper interrogation um, of what their numbers and the figures that they're presenting and the tables and charts that they're presenting really mean. Yeah. Um, which means they're going to have to know the numbers better yeah. um, and they're going to have to use you know, methods of aggregation that allow them to manipulate and slice and dice and, and answer questions really yeah. easily. I, I don't think that's going away. Yeah, well, I think that it circles back to this point of bifurcation where those, similar to how we have it with loss-affected and non-loss-affected programs, similarly, you'll see students who are able to turn around and have answers to these questions up front getting sort of first cut of capacity, right? And if it, if we're going to continue to sort of see the people like more and more pull towards um, sort of best in class risk um, and away from sort of risk that feels more risky, um, those types of things will begin to have a increasing impact over time as reinsurers look to deploy capital into the, to the types of risks that make the most sense and feel like they're going to get the best return on. 